Hey, welcome to your new video. Satellite images play a vital role in exploring our planet and its surroundings, but they can also reveal intriguing mysteries. In this video, we explore 10 enigmatic phenomena captured by satellites that raise more questions than they answer. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 10, a cube-shaped object that looks like a house has garnered attention after it being spotted on the surface of the moon by China's U-22 rover. The rover captured images of the object while traversing the von Karman crater on the far side of the moon as part of the Chang'e 4 mission. The discovery has generated speculation on social media, with some suggesting it could be an obelisk or evidence of extraterrestrial activity. U-2-2 has previously encountered similar rock-like substances on the lunar surface. In 1976, the Viking 1 orbiter captured an image of a region on Mars known as the Face on Mars, which sparked speculation about artificial structures. Number 9. Pictures from Mars have sparked intrigue among people who claim to have identified a huge tower on the planet's surface. The spherical object was observed on Mars by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and caught the attention of many. However, scientific analysis suggests that it is more than likely a Martian spheral, a type of round formation previously discovered on the planet. These spherules are thought to have formed due to natural geological processes, such as volcanic activity or meteor impacts. In line with this, images captured by the Mars rover Curiosity in previous years have revealed other instances of these spherical formations, indicating their common occurrence on the Martian surface. Number 8. The huge pentagram, measuring 1,200 feet in diameter, has been discovered in a remote region of Kazakhstan. The symbol is located on the southern shore of the Upper Tabul Reservoir in the northern part of the country. The purpose of the pentagram and its significance in this isolated area remain unknown. Pentagrams are commonly associated with various cultural and religious groups, including satanic cults, Wiccans, Baha'is, Chinese Taoists, Neo-Pagans, and followers of Pythagoras. The presence of the symbol has sparked speculation online, with some suggesting that it may be the work of a satanic cult. However, alternative explanations propose that it could be the remains of a former Russian military base or an abandoned Soviet-era lakeside campground. Kazakhstan was part of the former Soviet Union until gaining independence in 1991. Number 7. A hexagonal cloud pattern that can be observed at Saturn's North Pole has long intrigued astronomers. This massive storm, approximately 20,000 miles wide, which is twice the diameter of Earth, has been a subject of study for over 30 years. The storm rotates around Saturn's pole at speeds of about 220 miles per hour. Researchers have used computer modeling to gain insights into the factors contributing to its formation. They have discovered that the upper winds in Saturn's northern jet stream get disrupted by winds below it, causing turbulence. The atmosphere of Saturn is a dynamic environment with high-speed winds, evolving weather patterns, and occasional large storms. In addition to the hexagonal storm, Saturn's iconic icy rings are composed of countless particles colliding with one another, resulting in various waves and wakes. The Cassini spacecraft's long-term mission has provided valuable data on the changing atmosphere and rings of Saturn. Number 6. Miranda is Uranus' smallest and innermost large moon, known for its peculiar appearance. Discovered by Gerard Kuiper in 1948, it was named after a character in Shakespeare's The Tempest. Following the tradition of naming Uranian moons after literary figures, 
The moon exhibits diverse and extreme topography, making it a subject of scientific interest. Cryovolcanic eruptions, driven by tidal flexing and heating in the past, may account for some of its features. Miranda's surface is nearly as bright as Ariel, another large Uranian moon. Although most information was obtained during Voyager 2's flyby in 1986, when only the sunlit southern hemisphere could be studied. No future missions to Miranda or Uranus are currently planned. Number 5. Satellite images captured by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter reveal an intriguing formation on the surface of Mars that some liken to a giant teddy bear's face. The image, taken on December 12th by the high-resolution imaging science experiment camera, shows interesting features on Mars. It includes a collapsed structure, shaped like a V, two craters, and a circular fracture pattern. Scientists believe that the circular fractures might be caused by deposit settling over a hidden impact crater. They also speculate that the nose-like feature could be a volcanic or mud event, and the deposit could be made of lava or mud flows. The goal of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and high-rise camera is to study Mars in detail by taking high-resolution images, helping us understand its topography, plan future emissions, and choose potential landing sites. Number 4. In Jordan's Petra World Heritage Site, archaeologists have recently discovered a significant monument that was buried beneath the sands. Using satellite images, drone photography, and ground surveys, researchers successfully located the find, which is described as a large platform. The platform, about the length of an Olympic swimming pool, and twice as wide, stands out as a unique structure compared to others at the ancient site. The Nabataean civilization, who inhabited the region encompassing present-day Jordan, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon, founded Petra in the 4th century BC. Surface pottery suggests that the platform was reconstructed during Petra's peak in the mid-2nd century BC, and may have had a ceremonial purpose. The survey also revealed a smaller platform, enclosed within a larger one, featuring columns on one side and a grand staircase on the other. Number 3. Tropical Cyclone Judy developed over the South Pacific Ocean on February 26, 2023, and has been moving southwestward, impacting the northern Vanuatu Islands. On March 3rd, Judy transitioned into an extratropical cyclone as it drifted southeast. The storm reached its peak intensity as a Category 4 cyclone, causing severe and destructive conditions in Vanuatu. The system brought heavy rainfall to the northern provinces, resulting in flash flooding in low-lying areas and near riverbanks. Alerts have been issued for different provinces in Vanuatu. Tropical Cyclone Judy is the fourth named storm of the 2023 South Pacific cyclone season. Cyclones can occur in different parts of the world and are known by various names depending on their location. In the Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, they are called hurricanes, while in the Northwest Pacific, they are called typhoons. In the South Pacific and the Indian Ocean, they are referred to as cyclones. Number 2. Egyptian pyramids were captured by infrared cameras on satellites in a recent survey of Egypt. The study, conducted by the University of Alabama at Birmingham, used powerful cameras on satellites orbiting 435 miles above the Earth to detect underground structures. Over a thousand tombs, 3,000 ancient settlements, and 17 previously unknown pyramids were identified. Excavations have confirmed some of the findings, including two suspected pyramids. The satellite images use infrared imaging to highlight different materials beneath the surface. Mud bricks used in ancient Egyptian constructions appear denser than the surrounding soil, making the shapes of houses, temples, and tombs visible. The technology has proven valuable in locating archaeological sites and protecting antiquities. 
The lead researcher of the study believes there are still thousands of sites yet to be discovered, particularly those buried under silt by the Nile. Number 1. Mysterious earthworks known as geoglyphs have been discovered in the barren northern steppe of Kazakhstan. These large patterns etched into the earth or formed by arranging stones range in size from 300 to 1300 feet and are estimated to be at least 8,000 years old. The purpose and creators of these geoglyphs remain a mystery. Some theorists suggest that they may have served as sites for ancient rituals or as solar observatories. Satellite imagery released by NASA provides clear photographs of the shapes that will hopefully help to decipher their meaning. Excavations conducted by archaeologists have uncovered ancient structures and fireplaces indicating ritualistic use. Similar geoglyphs have been found in Peru's Nazca Lines and the Middle East, where thousands of wheel-shaped geoglyphs have been discovered. These enigmatic earthworks continue to intrigue researchers, seeking to unravel their origins and significance. Which satellite discovery fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.